Hi and good evening everyone. Welcome to the Starlight Realm by Jess. I'm Jess, Jessica. And it's Monday. A Monday of a Monday. I had work was crazy today. It always is though on a Monday. It's just, just the way it is. I am working on Kitchen Helper. Helpers, sorry. Kitchen Helpers by Randall Spangler from Diamond Art Club. Uh, working on number, or symbol K, number 3371. It's like a really dark brown. Um, and as you can see, I am at the top of the canvas. I had, um, like the, the paper ended here, my, my um, cover paper. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna open up the full thing. Probably not gonna get the full thing done with you guys tonight, but I'm so close, I'm so close. I didn't get to work on it as much over the weekend as I wanted to. Um, we just had a busy weekend. Uh, Friday night, we went and played D&D. &D. Um, and Sophia had a dance at school, I think Winter Wonderland, I think was the theme. Um, middle school, so took her to that. Went to D&D, &D, and then went and got her and went back to D&D. &D. Um, slept in on Saturday, don't get to sleep in very often, um, but I work. Um, after I got up, I had to work for a few hours, and then we took the girls to a trick or trunk. For those who don't know, um, trick or truck is like trick or treat, um, only people like get together in a parking lot someplace. This one was at the community college, and they wear costumes and they decorate their trunks and hand out candy and you know, goodies just like you would um, trick-or-treating. So we took them to that and they got a bunch of candy, of course. And then we um, went down to the Amish market, got our deli meats and the stuff we needed. It's like a little piece of, little piece of something. I don't know what that was. Um, oh, where did it go? I just lost the cap. Did it fly on the floor? Okay, well now these do not have a cover. I do not see it. I do not know where they went. Anyway, um, so... We took some, took a thing back to return, Amazon return to the UPS store, did that. Went to the Amish market, got our deli meat. This week they had um, buffalo chicken breast on sale. So we got some of that and what they call brick cheese, which we had never tried. So we got some slices of brick cheese. Um, it kind of tastes like string cheese cheese. Like, it doesn't have really much of a flavor. It's not real, like, um, pungent or anything. It's not bad by any means. It's just not much to it, I guess, would be a good way of putting that. Um, and we came home, and what did we do? I don't think we did much of anything once we came home. Just hung out, and then I took the girls to the band parent um, sponsored end of the season slash Halloween party for the band kids. Um, my kids ended up being the only little kids there, or smaller kids, younger kids, whatever you want to call it. And um, but the the high school kids were real good to include them and stuff. You know, it was fun. Uh, we did walking tacos, or tacos in a bag, depending on 
you know what you call them, like a little bag of Doritos crunched up with taco meat and cheese and lettuce and salsa, whatever you want on them kind of thing. And then there were just, you know, different types of desserts and stuff. Somebody made pasta salad that was really, really good. Um, actually, it was our Bambooster president's uh, husband made it. I was like, well, this is really good. Like, what is he, you know, like, what does he use for his, like, dressing and stuff? So, she told me about that. So, <clears throat> I'm going to have to pick me up the stuff and make some of that because it was, it was very good. Um, then Sunday morning got up and had breakfast, made breakfast, um, next one we're gonna do is like the triple dots, and that is number 355, five. it's like a terracotta color, like a dark, uh, yeah, not really a carrot, Gingerbread. Gingerbread color, maybe? Nah, uh, gingerbread's kind of a darker color, isn't it? Anyway. Um, got up, made breakfast, made bacon and sausage, um, fried potatoes, made myself some eggs. I'm, like, the only one in the house that eats eggs. Sorry if I've told you that before. Um, oh, by the way, this is whipping chat number... Seven. I mismarked my whipping chats so this will be like seven uh, uh, B because I do not have a six on my channel now oops and it was already too late uh, and I don't know how to change descriptions without deleting stuff so yeah oh well so um, did that then watched a movie. We watched the new Thor, Love and Thunder. It was good. I liked it. Um, I don't want to give any like spoilers away if you haven't seen it, but I did enjoy it. I would, I would say it's worth watching. Um, then cleaned. A bunch. I deep cleaned like the kitchen, the oven, the cabinets, um, you know, just everything, you know, swept and all that stuff and wiped down stuff, threw away stuff that needed to be thrown out, just everything. If you can hear that, talking in the background that's Michael listening to a audiobook so sorry about that um but yeah so clean the, the kitchen completely then cleaned the dining room got rid of a bunch of clutter and stuff our dining room table I don't know if anybody else does this but our dining room table has this terrible habit of collecting all of the mail everything I don't, I don't know it just does it's such a pain in the patootie so got rid of a bunch of old mail we didn't need flyers and whatnot kids papers out of their um, out of their book bags and stuff so yeah and I took a squeegee that I got at the Dollar Tree um, you know like the thing you do your windows and stuff with I took that and squeegee the carpet that's a trick I saw online um, on a husky owner page so as you know I own a husky um, Holly she will be two in November and she sheds a lot huskies shed a lot for those who don't know uh, they, 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 they constantly shed. Um, <clears throat> it's like, oh, when do, sh you know, one of the jokes, when do huskies stop shedding? Oh, you know, never. So, <laughs> yeah. Next three, whoops, sorry. It's like this triangle. 
3830. You guys let me know if you're like zoomed in enough. Do you need? You want to be zoomed in more? This is like, oops, that's out. Huh, <laughs> that's in. It's even more. Do you want to be that close? I don't know. You tell me. How do you like it? I've yet to get a comment yet. I don't have. You could be my first commenter. Um, I don't have any comments. But that's okay. I'm still doing it. Um, so. Um, oh. So I squeegee the floor in the dining room because it has carpet. And um, get all the dog hair up and everything. It just helps the vacuum cleaner a little bit. Because our vacuum cleaner is kind of old. And there's just so much dog hair. Um, like no matter what. So um, I squeegeed it. I took all the chairs out of here. And um, squeegeed the whole thing. And then had Sophia, my older daughter, run the vacuum. So that happened, and I was hot, I was sweaty, and then I was done. Like that, that did me in. That was enough activity for the day. Um, I tried to take the girls, oops, sorry, H, and this is uh, 898. Tried to take the girls to another trip or trunk, but we got the time mixed up and it was over when we got there so yeah that sucked but we're gonna do came home and started dinner made tacos which I usually leave for a um, like a weeknight meal but that's what I had planned because you know we were going to this trunk or trunk and I didn't know how long we'd be and then we ended up you know, we were we were too late for it. Um, yeah. I finished uh, a show on Netflix series, and then you know went to bed. And I didn't diamond paint. Did I diamond paint yesterday? I don't think I diamond painted at all yesterday. Did I Saturday? No, I didn't Saturday. So yeah, so I haven't diamond painted in a few days. Um, I just, um, life is, you know, my life is very busy, and I just don't always have, oh, did you see this pop? I don't always have the time. Now, two popped out, but I only have one. I only found one. Anyway. I just don't always have time to diamond paint every day. I, I, you know, or maybe I don't make the time every day. I don't know. I'm just real tired some days. <laughs> so I don't, I don't do it every day. Um, and I work today. And like I said, it was very Monday, Monday. <sighs> it was just busy, you know, a lot of stuff going on and everything, a lot of closings left to do, even though we worked over the weekend, so, uh, worked a little bit late, not super late, like a half an hour, and then made dinner, made, um, Boston meatballs, loaf of bread, Came from the Italian market, heated it up in the, in the stove in the oven, and then um, we had a salad with it. It was delicious. I, pasta is one of my favorites. It really, really is. Um, I have always loved pasta, so. When I made it with meat sauce, meatballs and meat sauce in it, right? Like, talk about overdoing it, extra or whatever. But see, I really like meat sauce, but the girls really like meatballs, because I was only gonna do meat sauce. 
Michael was like, my husband was like, oh my goodness, they won't be happy. And I'm like, okay, I'm making you balls too. Because there really isn't any more effort. You just throw them in the sauce because we get the frozen ones. He actually got the frozen ones from the actual um, Italian market today because he went to the Italian market to get them. And um, uh, he got some of their sauce and that they sell, which is really, really good. But it's like $7 a jar, so we don't eat it very often because I just can't do $7 a jar. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so that was good. Dinner was really good. Sophia had her one little friend over. She's the next door neighbor. And, um, I, I asked her, I said, are you staying for dinner? She said, yeah, I, you know, you cook really good and everything. If it's okay, I was like, yeah, that's fine. Um, so... And I uh, did my dishes, talked to my dad, talked to my mom and dad generally every day. Um, so, took the dog out, you know, we want stuff, wiped down the stove, because pizza, pizza sauce, Jesus. Um, spaghetti sauce always gets all over the stove, I feel like. Maybe it's just me. That was my mom too though. I mean that's where I got it. Anyway, so it gets everywhere, so I cleaned off the stove and all that. Got out our coffee cups and stuff for tomorrow morning. You know, just get get ready a little bit for the next day. I need to I'm going there and decide what Penelope is having for her snack for tomorrow. She's in first grade and they still allow them um, to pack a snack to take to school that they eat in the afternoon. Just like something small, 10 minutes. Um, we do like goldfish or Cheez-Its, applesauce pouches, or whatever. So, different things. Um, I really need you guys to start asking me questions so I know what to talk about. Because y'all are going to get bored just staring at me, diamond painting, talking. Um... Yeah, so I don't really have anything going on. I got a call from one of the band parents today, high school band parents. Dave, he's the one who heads the, um, the concession stand stuff. And he um, said that there was a band kid missing, went missing right after school. They saw her right after school, but nobody had seen her since 2.45. Okay, so that's scary, you know. And I said, well, do we have a description, da-da-da, you know. And he was like, we're calling all the band parents. Like, I asked Sophia, which she's in junior high, or um, middle school, so she, she didn't know the girl. But, you know, I asked her anyway. And um, I went on the band's web um, Facebook page to check, you know, for the picture and everything. And um, I said, you know, do we need to, like, you need me to do a search part? Like, do I need to come somewhere for a search party or something? And they said, he said that people were at the school, at their at her mom's house, 
and the police had been called and everything and so yeah so I said okay well keep me posted if I need to come for like an organized search party you know call me call me back so he um it it wasn't much later because I was like oh I gotta call my mom I'll have mom put her on the prayer chain that mom has at her church and um she you know so I I um it hadn't been very long like we hadn't stopped it we we had stopped dinner and I called him back because I saw that he had called and I listened to his voicemail about it and I was like oh geez <clears throat> so and and I have the I have the it takes a village you know what I mean to raise a child mentality I, I truly you know those children are my children too I, I've never met some of those well I mean I've seen them and stuff you know what I mean but they don't know me, you know what I mean? They know I'm in the boosters and stuff, whose mom I am and all that, but that's about the extent of it. Anyway, so those kids are my kids. So, you know, my whole thought process was, well, if this girl is missing and we need to do a search party, I'm going to go, even if it means I don't sleep tonight or whatever, because... If it was my kid, I would want people, you know what I mean, out there volunteering, helping. So, but Dave texted me, said she's been found. I was like, oh, thank God. You know, that's awesome. Is she okay? He said, yep. And I said, where was she? He said, I don't know, but they said that she was found. She's safe. You know, uh, she's okay. Unharmed. I was like, oh, perfect. So, I figure she probably went off with a friend or a boyfriend or, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. They said that she's kind of a loner and stuff. and But, you know, they had everybody on, on the phones and stuff trying to find this girl and they found her. And that's awesome. Because, um, you know, bad, you know, the world's a crazy bad place. Um, so, you don't want anything bad to happen. She's a senior, so, you know, she's 17, 18, some, somewhere around there. Um, but, yeah, so, it was just kind of one of those things that really hits home because, like I said, if, if that was my kid, you know, I'd be beside myself and I'd, I'd want people out helping to look everything I, I really you know my heart went out to the mom and you know I said a little prayer like you know that she she be returned safe and sound because that's just scary you know and everybody you know, well I don't know about everybody but I think a lot of people think oh you know little town, nothing, nothing bad happens like that here, but it could, you know, we're on a major, like, highway that touches two other states within five miles, so, you know what I mean, it'd be real easy to just be gone, so, glad that she's safe, glad that she's back home. Uh, that we didn't have to form a, a search party, so to speak. Oh. So that was a little bit of a, oh my god moment today, this evening. Um, I had a memory a 
come up on my sorry that was five and I'll need four on my Facebook it has been four years since I had my gallbladder removed um, it has never been the same I've never been the same my digestive system never, never been the same and you know supposedly you go back to normal after after some point but mine has never mine has never done that um, it's kind of crazy you know you ignore something because I did I ignored it and um, then it tries to kill you because <laughs> I was in some of the worst pain I've ever been in in my life um, just crazy pain this is N Oops, sorry. 938. Dark brown. Alright. Yeah. Sorry. It's confused. Which isn't hard to do. This is a five multi-placer, by the way. Uh, it's one of the steel ones that I got off of Amazon in a pack of different multi-placers. Five is about about my my max. I don't really do anything bigger than that. Um, oops. dropped one. I see the ones that are just like, they won't line up. They're like sitting on top of the others. off on vacay with my mom and we um, went to the casino we stopped and picked up one of my friends uh, Sam and went uh, went to the casino and then we were going to lunch afterwards and then coming home to pick up the girls off the bus and from daycare because this was back before COVID. So we go to the casino and blow some money, we win some money, you know. And I had been having pain for like five weeks before this. And I thought that I was just getting older, couldn't handle the foods that I'd been eating, so I started eating better. I was drinking tons of water, I'd given up soda, I was wearing um, stretchy pants, nothing with an actual waist because I thought maybe my pants, you know, my pants were too tight. I, I, I had every excuse in the book. And my boss had even said to me, I think it's your gallbladder, because she had lost hers already. I was like, no, 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 you know, I'm fine. Well, so we go, <coughs> because I was on vacation, I let myself have, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you guys. Um, we go to the casino and they have free soda, and I'm like, oh geez, you know, so I have soda because I'm like, you know what, I've been so good, and I'm feeling pretty good, da 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 da, -da. So I have soda, like all day. And then we go to lunch, or all morning, I should say. And we go to lunch, and we go to Olive Garden. My mom had like a gift card or something. And they had the never-ending pasta bowl at that time. So I had 
chicken alfredo, which is one of my favorites. And I got one to go because it was never ending pasta. So I felt like on the way home, I was just uncomfortable. Like I didn't feel real good. And I was like, oof. So I got um, Sam home and then mom and I picked up the girls went home did the things we needed to do i made dinner i did not eat dinner because i was like i don't feel good you know bathed the girls got them to bed and all that and i told my mom like give me a couple minutes let me go lay down so he got the heating pad everything because like my back was hurting my stomach was hurting my chest was hurting and i was just in all this pain oh i forgot to mention i had started throwing up at, like 4 30 that afternoon um i thought well maybe it's just something bad, bad i ate you know so throwing up sick as a dog i was like i just need to lay down you know i'll feel, take some stuff i'll feel better lay there for 20 minutes could not get comfy couldn't find a comfortable position at all Finally, I got up, I sat up on the side of the bed and said just out loud, I guess to God, I need to go to the hospital. So, sick as a dog, came downstairs, told my mom, my husband, I need to go to the hospital. Something is not right. So, my mom, you know, I told my mom, I need you to take me to the hospital. And my husband was like, do you want me to take you? And I was like, no, you should stay here with the girls. Mom can take me. So, they, um, so I go out to get in the car and sick as a dog, I throw up in our in our yard. Um, not one of my more beautiful moments. I threw up in the yard and I was like, oh my god. And I was in so much pain when I threw up. I also peed my pants. Yes, that is right. I'm an adult and I have peed my pants while I was throwing up in my own front yard. I know. I know. But it is what it is. Stuff happens and it happened. So I had to go back inside, you know, change, and my husband and my mom are helping me. Because I literally couldn't bend down, I couldn't bend over, I was in so much pain. And, you know, I'm like, I've been ignoring this, this pain, but it's gotten so much worse. You know, da da da. So, we get me changed, we get me to the hospital, and I'm, I'm, throwing up, I'm in terrible pain, um, my chest hurts, everything, they're like, oh my god, are you having a heart attack, they did an EKG, I was not having a heart attack, thank god, um, but, you know, my blood pressure's elevated, like, everything's bad, they're giving me morphine, it's not touching the pain, so they gave me the laudan, they did blood work, my liver enzymes were off the charts, they said, um, my gallbladder was you know basically killing me because I had a gallstone that got out of the gallbladder and was in my duct work and was backing up my liver enzymes like backing up the function of my liver which is bad um so they wanted me to lay down on the gurney and I was like no that's not happening it hurts too bad I have to sit here um like crisscross applesauce for what we as kids called Indian style. Um, so I'm sitting there on the gurney and I'm so sick and everything and they've got an IV in me and all this stuff and I'm I'm retching and stuff and I was in a I'm in the ER and our ER is just like curtained. It's not like private rooms or nothing. And there was this nice lady next to me and the curtain was drawn. I never even saw her who had her adult son and his friend with her. And every time I would gag, one of them would gag. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she'd go, it's all right, honey. They're just, 
uh, uh, you know, pansies, we'll say. Um, and you you do what you gotta do. And I said, oh, thank you. I'm so sorry, you know. And um, she said, what is it? Your gallbladder? And I said, yeah. She said, oh, I've been through that. That's not fun. She was in because she was on chemo and her port was infected. So, and she wanted them to give her something and let her go home, but they were like, nope, you can't go home. So she was not happy that she was gonna have to stay the night. Well, I found out I was gonna have to be admitted and all this stuff because the ER, the ER doctor was straight up like, this stone needs to be removed and your gallbladder needs to come out. Because they did, um, I don't know, CT of my stomach? Or my abdomen? Is that what it's called? They did some kind of scan. And then they also did an ultrasound. And when they took me back for the ultrasound, <coughs> excuse me, um, they, there was a, um, like a med student was doing some of her training or whatever and she actually held my hand poor thing um, because I was so upset and I was crying and the poor um, sonogram tech just could not get good pictures it was swollen it was you know it was just you know it, it was bad so they admit me, they're like, you know, you're going to have to have the scope done. So the next day, they, that's Friday, because this was Thursday, my mom took me to the hospital Thursday night at 5 o'clock, like, uh, no, 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 9 o'clock in the evening. So the next day, because of course nobody's there overnight, they take me down to have my scope done. Well, the, our hospital is just like a little regional hospital, it's not really... You know what I mean? It's, it's not a big, huge hospital. So the guy who's doing the scope decides that he's not going to try and take the um, the thing, the the stone out because it's really bad, and he is afraid. It was really like jammed in there. He was really afraid that he might tear something, and there was no general surgeon there that day to help him if if it went bad I'm like okay well I respect that like you know I'd rather you not not make something bad happen so they decided to send me to a different hospital so I they shipped me off to a bigger hospital down in Pittsburgh and that was Saturday, Sunday, and of course nobody's there on the weekends to do anything, so they're just keeping me comfortable, and they did let me finally eat and drink because they were like, well, nothing's going to happen to you, you know, until Monday. So, um, so yeah, so then Monday comes, they, the specialist guy does the scope gets the stone out so it's really it was really big but that my gallbladder's full of other stones this is gonna happen again so it has to come out well of course the guy who does the scope is not the guy who takes the gallbladder out that's a different guy so that guy comes and sees me and he's like yeah it needs to come out you know da 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 um we're gonna try and get you on for Tuesday for surgery but you know I've got a pretty full schedule but we'll see what we can do and I was like he was like we may have to send you home and I was like please do not send me home I just want this to be over um so they they do work me in I do have my surgery on Wednesday and he was like because it's so bad I might have I might not be able to do it laparoscopically well, if they didn't do it laparoscopically, then they have to cut you, like, all the way across. Well, that's a lot longer of a recovery time. You know, at this point, I'm already, you know, Tuesday. I've been in since Friday, 
you know, I missed, I was missing work at this point because I only had like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of before week when I actually got sick. So, you know, I'm using up sick time and stuff and I'm just like, you know, not okay. So they'll see, oh, we'll see what we can do. Well, they worked me in, thank God. So they do my surgery. He was able to keep it laparoscopic, but it took a really long time, like way longer than it should take because they had, he had to take out 30 or 40 stones, he said, before he could even get the gallbladder small enough to come out the incision. And he had to make my incision a lot bigger than they usually do for laparoscopic. So I've got a good like inch, inch and a half scar um, pretty much right between like my boobs, but just a little bit lower. Um, <coughs> so um, you're not supposed to have that. It's not supposed to be that long. I've got like four little other ones. I had a drain in when they brought me back up to my room. I had a drain in and everything. Oh my God, I was sore. I hurt so bad. They're moving me from gurney to bed and I was in so much pain and they didn't have a catheter in me apparently because like when they rolled me to put me in bed, my mom stopped them and was like, she's a mess. You can't put her, you know, in bed like that. And they were trying to talk to me and ask me questions, but I was really kind of out of it. I just was like in pain. And, um, you know, the surgery had taken, like I said, longer than, than they anticipated. My mom and dad said when the surgeon finally came up because they thought... They thought they had forgotten about them, like, to come give them an update when I got out of surgery, but I had been in surgery, like, really long. Well, anyway, when he came up to see them, they said that he looked like he had been put through the ringer, like, he was beat up, and, um, yeah, so, he, I, I really, you know, I can't thank him and the staff enough for for, you know, keeping it laparoscopic and everything because I really didn't want to have to go through, you know, really long recovery time. Um, I had had two cesareans, one with each of the girls, so I knew what abdominal surgery, you know, that kind of abdominal surgery where they cut you open was like. So, um, but yeah, it was just, it was real painful and everything. And they were like, you know, you, you, they put, um, like this weird vacuum thing on me to go to the bathroom because I didn't have a catheter in. And like the surgical guy came, not the surgeon, but like a surgical, I don't know what he was. Like the follow-up doctor or something that comes and sees you in the evening. He came to see me and he was like, what is this contraption they have you on? And I was like, well, I had to pee. And he was like, you can get up and walk. And I was like, are you insane? I was like, I can't get up and walk. Like, he's like, no, that's what you need to do. Because, like, we do this usually as an outpatient surgery. And I was like, you all are nuts. And um, he, he, like, ordered the, the nurses and stuff to come take it all off of me and make me get up and I was like this is like this is insane well, I did get up it was extremely painful to move but I did it um it was just like it took like everything out of me and I was sweating and stuff but I, I you know I did it I pushed through they gave me meds and stuff and um yeah, I got I got through it, but it was it was a, it was a rough time. So I came home on Wednesday. So I'd been in the in the ho two hospitals. I'd been put under anesthesia three times um, in that course of almost a week, six days, and um, you know my gallbladder almost killed me. 
<clears throat> and I had to recover here at home. I was like, well, I can't go to work. Oh, sorry. Seven, seven, nine. It's only, there's only a couple of them over here in the corner. And then all the rest that you see still open are the, the number eight, symbol eight, whatever you want to call it. So we'll, we'll do those next. So we actually might get this. Oops. We might actually get this section done. That'll be cool. Um, so yeah, so I stayed home for the rest of the week, recovered and everything, and went back to work on Monday. And of course everybody was like, oh my god, I can't believe you're here. And But they were happy to see me. They were happy to know I was okay. Because I had a big team at the time. I was team lead or account executive of, of my team. And, um, you know, they say, you know, nobody's irreplaceable, which is true, but still, you know, they were my people. Three, eight, six, zero. A lot of browns, because we're like up into the like top border and stuff and the side border. So this, this, this part's not really exciting. So yeah, so four years ago is, uh, is when I lost my gallbladder, and as I said, things are still not the same. My digestive system just works real funny. I used to never be able to hear or feel food like moving through me, but I can now. When I have to go to the bathroom, I have to go to the bathroom, like, now. Um, there's n very little holding it. <laughs> so, how are you guys today on a Monday? Did you have a good Monday? Or is it a bad Monday? Just a run-of-the-mill Monday? Like, I had to go back to work Monday? Maybe not working, maybe you're retired. Hope to do that one day. We'll see. I don't know. Keep playing the lotto, hoping to uh, retire early. <laughs> anybody playing right now? Like there's, it's it's like real high up there. I don't think anybody hit on Saturday. I forgot to check. I also forgot to buy tickets on for Saturday's drawing. I was like, oh man, you know. So one of buy tickets for the next drawing. I gotta look it up because I'm not sure when the next... I think they do it on Wednesdays and Saturdays, the Powerball drawings. So, yeah. If you hear rustling around, that's my husband in the kitchen. He got done painting his Warhammer models, I think. <clears throat> I'm really hoping to get this painting done this week so that I can do, you know, finish post, post review um, and then get ready and get up another one already picked out the next one I want to do. I'm going to do a round because I have um, the Great Wave already on. Um, you know, kit it up. You guys have seen that one in a couple of whipping chats and stuff. Um, so I want to do, I want to do a round. I had two squares going on at the same time. And the one round that I have going on is that little one that you guys saw me fix the <coughs> the blunder on so I I could probably finish it pretty quickly um think it up too ooh think about that um the all the other thing I need to video is I got an Amazon order yesterday Saturday I have not unboxed it because I want to do an unboxing for you guys um, something that's been on my wish list and went on, um, lightning deal. 
so super excited about that um, so I want to do a video for you guys I'm trying to figure out I think what I'm gonna have to do is get you guys up higher somehow right now you're just attached to the arm that's attached to the table but I think in order to do an unboxing um, I'm gonna have to get you up higher so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that so that you guys can see everything real well so we'll do an unboxing kidding up an unbox well yeah like a unboxing of the diamond painting a kidding up of the diamond painting and an unboxing of the other thing from Amazon got all that planned of course Wednesday will be worthwhile Wednesday I have not picked a theme yet gotta do that I think it's gonna be music I was talking to my husband about some ideas last week and I think I think I've landed on music so you know stop in Wednesday to see what that's about hope you guys have a good week um, only got a few more diamonds to place and then this corner is done you get that rush do you guys get that rush when you get to this point in the canvas like oh my gosh like look how look how little of it's left to do I get that rush. So, yeah. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share. I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, don't have many viewers right now, many subscribers, but hoping that that picks up. If you guys think of something, you know, that you want to see different content, um, you know, let me know. I'm also thinking of maybe doing a live, but I think I would have a hard, oh, sorry, I hit you. Um, but I think I would have a hard time, like, reading comments and stuff. That's if anybody even showed up, I guess. Because right now I don't really have that many, um, subscribers. So I don't even know if it's, if it's worth having a live until I get some more. Um, so yeah. I don't know, let me know your thoughts on that. And... Bam! Look at that. Oh, I felt. Uh oh. One went. Where did it go? There was one in there. That one wasn't pushed down. Oh, look, it's stuck to my hand. Bam. I like to rub my hand over it because sometimes I'll feel like a drill that's like not all the way down. Look at that. Look, the corner is done. So this whole section all the way down the painting is done. It's done. It's done. Oh, can you imagine when we actually get it finished? This is a labor of love, kids. This, the, but this, this whole, um, this whole hobby, you know what I mean? It's a labor of love. Like, I've, I've told some people that I do this and they're like, oh my gosh, that's too tedious. I wouldn't, you know what I mean? I wouldn't be able to do it. So it's not for everybody, I guess. But like my mom says that she doesn't think she could do it. I really want to get her like something small to try though. We're going to fill up some jars while we're talking here. But I think maybe if I got her something small, like we were talking about the other day, like bookmarks, keychains, probably bookmarks, because she would she would use a bookmark. 
I think that, you know what I mean, that would go. She might, she might be able to do that because it's a smaller project. Okay, so I put these on here with washi tape so that they'd be easy to just boom, peel off, see? And there's nothing on them. Uh-oh, there's a rogue diamond, see that? Uh-oh, he's stuck. There we go. These are completely out of order. Like these over, over here because I put them, you know what I mean, in, in order when I like kitted them up and stuff. I think that most of these, um, I won't be using, see and look how nice that comes off because the washi tape doesn't like, it's not like a permanent stick thing. So it comes off like super nice. And I've just got a baggie that I'm like sticking these to. That has, um, I think I showed you guys this, it has like more extras in it. Because um, this is only 51 colors, but a lot of them needed extra pots. So I had all of the all of the extra pots, like these six, seven, eight, nine, nine, filled up with extra drills. Um, because a lot of them took two pots, and I like to do it this way. I know that some people will do it where, like, you know, like these are to. Oh, you can't see that. Like these are together like they're side by side but I like to just kind of put them in DAC or DMC order over like at the end that's just my way and I also kit kit up or at least for this painting let me move my drink before I knock it over um, I kit it up one through you know what I mean in, in numeral order um, I didn't switch them around because this is my first big DAC. I didn't switch them around in DMC order, but I'm thinking that maybe I'll do that for the next painting. Um, I don't know. So, yeah, so that is it. That's the whip and chat for today, guys. Um, you helped me get through this last corner. Look, there's that thing. <laughs> Yay, it's the cover. So now I won't stab myself. Um, through the, this corner, yay, one more corner to go. Look, I didn't even follow this line very good. <laughs> oh well, who cares? It's just you and me, right? Um, but anyway, I hope you had a good evening and a good night. And, you know, tomorrow morning, have a cup of coffee on me. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. I greatly appreciate it. Again, like, share, um, comment, um, really helps me trying to make the channel grow so thanks everybody from the starlight realm by jess have a good evening